So this is a habit that I picked up. This is a bullet journal. I'm gonna pick this up in June of 2020-ish. Um, actually it was a little bit before June. It was more like April or May when I was trying to track some habits like hair pulling or um, that's an assignment um, tracker that I started using in the fall of 2020. Um, but as you can see, the, the backgrounds of the um, these earlier pages uh, didn't really work out so well. I wasn't uh, too into the um, like the strict block form. So when June hit, I was like, you know, I looked it up and I started researching it and it started getting really super interesting. So I was starting to be more artistic with it. Not gonna lie, I stole a lot of these from Pinterest. So just like flat out just copied it. <laughs> Um, but I freehanded all of it, so it was super fun. It takes me a while, but it's really relaxing, and it's just really nice to just sit down and kind of like draw and color a little bit, but also make something productive. Um, so I did things like a uh, sleep tracker, book list. These are my weeklies. Um, so I also use it uh, to keep track of assignments, um, things that I do during the month, and I like to picking different themes. So for July, I was like, oh yeah, Fourth of July fireworks. Um, those popsicles were super easy to draw, which is why I drew a lot of them. Um, and I like to stick to color themes and I use a lot of the same uh, things, the same like uh, designs for each month because they're easy and they're not super complicated. Um, but that's super fun. I usually, I usually stuck to that. Uh, I have like a, kind of a little bit of a, an idea of what I use with my bullet journals now. Um, but back then I was just kind of experimenting. I liked using the different things. Um, this was just some of my ideas, uh, going through and re and like learning how people use bullet journals and how I like to use it. So there are a lot of different, um, I really don't like the, um, Every week is a different thing, and it just kind of got tedious. This is one of my favorite quotes, actually, um, by Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, it's probably one of, if not my favorite quotes. Um, but yeah, I just used a lot of it. Um, I wasn't very good at keeping up with it, which is something that I want to change this year. Um, it's actually like I'm not using a planner or a calendar. This is what I'm using. Um, October was super fun. I did a Harry Potter theme, so I did Hogwarts on that first page, and here's the... Uh, uh, Ravenclaw stuff and for all the weeks I did a Ravenclaw theme as well. Some some months like this it took me quite a while to do which is why um, uh, when, it, when it got down to um, in the middle of school you can see how uh, yeah also pointing that out I, I definitely um, messed some of the these up because I was copying things. Um, I wrote November without thinking and thought it was October. I started getting into using stickers and stuff too for Halloween because I don't really like Halloween so using the stickers up was kind of nice. This was one of my favorite uh, title pages actually with the trees. Um, and November was just fun so I used it for Thanksgiving and this is this is school was happening and I got overwhelmed so my weeks got uh, very practical but still that they had that design. I was proud of that. I came up with that practice tracker. Also, that's all my December assignments, and those gnomes were my favorite. Um, but yeah, no, I really like using it for an assignment tracker. It works out really well for me. Um, and again, you can see my weeklies were very, very spread out. Oh, uh, those are my Christmas presents, but uh, there's some birthday presents on there too. That practice tracker is actually legit because I uh, fought COVID during the time that I was filling that out. These are just some classroom notes that I took. Um, I use it mostly for um, keeping track of everything. But yeah, so this uh, this was super fun. I didn't use all of it, but that's because I got it in June. This is something my friend Lindsay did for me. She drew Friendship Garden and drew some flowers in the back of this one. Um, but yeah, that was 2020 and I was really excited about um, getting a brand new journal for 2021. Um, they didn't have black, which is okay. I kind of like brown. Brown and green is cool. Um, so this is my 2021 journal, and I um, really, really like, I just use the theme of stars and planets because I really, really, really like it. So there's my goals, there's like my, my finances, and, and my, um, my, my book list that I want to do. In January, I've had the, the Wonder Pets theme song. Oh, okay, note on this 2020. I made this in 2020, which is why it says 2020. So I um, used a giant red marker and didn't even try to fix it correctly because it was 2020. Now it's 2021. So I did that in 2020, not 2021. 
Uh, but yeah, there's my habit tracker. Uh, so I have the Wonder Pets theme song stuck in my head and I've had it. You know, it's a baby penguin stuck on an iceberg. And it's, <laughs> it's my favorite thing ever. So I decided to do um, baby penguins and there was actually um, some ideas that I got off of Pinterest. And um, yeah, so this is just something super fun that I really like doing. Uh, it's actually uh, really relaxing for me to try to do. Again, my friend Lindsay wrote in the back of my book, uh, which is amazing, and she's so cool. <laughs> um, but it's just super encouraging, and they're really pretty, and I like uh, going back and looking at it every once in a while. Um, but yeah, it's super fun. It's a really good habit, and I um, I really like that. That's uh, that's my Old Testament journey Bible reading plan, which why I will. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of behind in right now, but it'll it'll be okay. I'll get there. <laughs> uh, this this bullet journal will hopefully help. But yeah, so that's the that's the um, one thing I started in 2020 that I want to continue. Um, I really enjoy doing it. it. It's a super efficient outlook for me for my creativity.